Hello guys, welcome to Daily Tech. If you've downloaded the GS update, then it should be a mixed reaction because you're not able to turn off GS. But you've also got a bug, and this bug affects the audio and visual experience on your device. Now, at the beginning, I thought it was a bug that just affected your Bluetooth experience. So, what it does, it makes your video and audio out of sync. So, your audio is either faster or slower, which makes it a pretty bad experience if you're trying to enjoy your content. But I was in for a rude awakening when I realized that it, it doesn't only affect Bluetooth devices. So, it, with this or without this, it's always going to happen when you're watching audio or visual content. And one of the culprits of this would be YouTube. The way it occurs is, you start playing a video and the video plays starts all fine then within a second or two seconds into the video the the, the video freezes but the audio continues to play and then the video continues to play then so which means the video automatically becomes out of sync congratulations doctor after 12 years of education and training three hundred and fifty thousand dollars in debt and sacrificing your 20s and 30s you're finally ready So you notice how the video begins to play, the audio continues, but then it freezes, the audio keeps playing and then the video comes back into, comes back and they're both out of sync. This is my screen record of me just moving to the next video so you can see what's happening. Let's go back. When a closet company quotes you $5,000 to $100 for a custom closet. people that do not use quality in their marketing are the Japanese so as you can see it's it's pretty annoying especially if you're watching a short video every time you move to the next video it automatically occurs again and this is a terrible terrible experience I hope Samsung is able to solve this um, permanently but there is a temporary solve which you probably wouldn't like to hear you just have to restart your device and when you restart your device you can then begin to enjoy um, your audio and visual content again but then when it happens again you're going to have to restart your device again so while we're here talking about the bugs in your s22 ultra there is another uh, bug um, i'm not sure if this is a bug or this is just a device itself i had another s22 ultra which i used and none of this actually occurred the only problem with that s22 ultra was the device kept auto restarting when i used the camera to take pictures to record videos but that was it, the experience, the UI experience, everything was absolutely smooth. So then when I got this device and I started using this device and I noticed the, the buggy software experience, I was, I was shocked because I thought, what's the difference? It wasn't like I used a Snapdragon and an Exynos and I'm beginning to notice um, a gap in their, in their performance. It was not. Same Exynos, right? And then you pull down the notification, the notification is laggy or you pull it down and nothing happens. You jump into your UI and it lags. You try to go to multitask and everything lags. It was pretty annoying. And then I spoke to someone and they told me to do something. I was really skeptical, skeptical about what they asked me to do because I thought to myself, that doesn't make sense. It's, it's, it's not going to do much to affect the buggy experience. But I tried it and it worked. So here goes. What you will need to do is go into your settings. Go to battery and device care. You can click on optimize. This is optional. But what you would need to do in the, the next step would be to go to your memory and click on clean now. And once this is done, you can restart your device to make the process a little bit more smoother. However, before you restart your device, if you wanted to um, do something about your RAM Plus, this is the option right here. You can go into your RAM Plus and it says, Select how much internal storage to use as a virtual memory to improve uh, performance. If you want to use your RAM Plus, you can toggle on whichever uh, option you want. So it's currently on 4GB, which yours will probably be as well because this was this is automatic. If you wanted to take it to 6 or 8, bear in mind that any option you choose, you're going to have to restart your device. So if you want to add the RAM Plus or X, uh, increase the storage of your RAM Plus, there is no need to restart your device after the, uh, what's it called? the memory clean or the storage cache clean because you're still going to restart your device after the RAM plus so you might as well choose your RAM plus and then restart your device hopefully this helps to make your experience a little bit better if you're one of those who are blighted by all the issues on your S22 Ultra or S22 series well I hope this helped and if it's helped you please 
leave a like so i know it has helped share subscribe and turn on notifications for more content and on this note stay safe and i will catch you in the next one